Today my package from GameStop has arrived. So let's go ahead and get it opened up here. Got some scissors. So this is the AT Legends Gamer Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and then get it set up and connected to the TV. In addition, after getting it set up, um, I'm gonna play some games on it and then I might see what other capabilities. I know you can actually load new games to it. Uh, you can also connect it straight to a computer um, or other gaming systems, possibly I think even the Xbox it's compatible with. So let's get that. Uh, I'll try all those different options and see what we can do. Start with this little hockey puck here. That is the wireless control center and then the cables to connect that up. Actually, I'm also guessing that this is not charged or has very little charge to it. So I may have to actually plug it in. Oh, that's heavy. And charge it before I can actually use it for the first time. Let's take a look here. Get this opened up. It's nice. Let's see, power up. It does power up. It looks like it's trying to connect, but that isn't uh, not connected. I don't know what the power level is. So it's already pre-assembled, which is pretty awesome. Got a roller ball, eight buttons for player one, eight buttons for player two. Um, so I think it's uh, some kind of sync button there or home button. Rewind player one, player two. Playing buttons, as well as on the side, I've got pinball buttons. Um, it does look like there's not really any screws to open it up to actually see what's on the inside of it. Um, so I'm not sure if you can open it up or maybe underneath, underneath these pads here, if there's some screws there. I'm not going to go ahead and open it up quite yet. Anyhow, what I do want to do for the first time is just plug it into the computer, actually plug it into, sync it up with the hockey puck here and uh, connect this to the TV. And then we will see how, what games are preloaded. There's probably a firmware update that needs to be applied. So let's go ahead and get started. To pair the unit up, I've turned it on and you'll see that the lights are blinking at a high frequency. I then go to the control deck here. And on the side here is a pairing button that I press. And when that comes up, it brings up this screen. And now I'll hold down the pairing button back here for about five seconds and then the screen will change. So one, two, three, four, five. It is now connected to the device. Yep, it's selected. So now let's do P2 and we will hold down for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And it has connected and now it wants me to sign in to my account. So I'm not sure what that means. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can hit cancel and head over to the settings and do a firmware update. Looks like there is a new firmware here. It is a uh, version 5.65. Let's go ahead and download that and install it. Okay, it's upgrading now. After completing that upgrade, it looks like it wants to update the control deck. So I'll just go ahead and choose upgrade and let it run that. After completing the update, here is a comprehensive list of the games that are available on this Legends Game Pro. There are very popular arcade games on here, including Bubble Bobble, Burger Time, Fix-It Felix from the Wreck-It Ralph Disney movie. Here's Star Wars. In total, there are 150 games loaded on the Legends Game Pro. My kids are eager to play this, so I'm gonna go ahead and have them choose the first game to play. Yeah. Wait, you, 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 I, 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 I
Well, that was a lot of fun. However, I want to get started on the next part of this video, which is installing CoinOps X, allowing me to run additional games. Getting started, I went ahead and purchased a 128 gigabyte USB card from a local big box store. I picked this one because it was 128 gig and also 150 meg uh, read write speeds. So it was fast enough for the arcade one up. I don't know how much speed makes a difference. I think it is a USB 3.0 device. So I want to get one that was fast as possible. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and plug in this USB drive into my computer. I've opened up the disk manager here and I'll take note of the drives that show up. I have a disk zero, a disk one, and a disk two. So when I plug in this drive, I will see a new one get added. It is important to notice which new one is because I don't want to clear off the wrong drive. So it's plugged in. There is a disk three here that's showing 114 gig, um, which is the 128 gig. I think if you do the math, it's not the full 128. There's stuff on the disk, etc. Now, I went ahead and tested this already, but so I do have two partitions here. I'm going to go ahead and delete both partitions. You'll need to do this on yours also, whether you have one or two partitions. Just simply go and hit delete volume. And then if you have two partitions, you'll need to delete the first volume also. So then you should see a full 114 unallocated if you're using a 128 gig drive. So now I'll need to create a new simple volume. And the first one is going to be eight gig in size. To represent eight gigabits on disk, I will type in 8192 and then hit next. Go ahead and assign the default drive letter. It doesn't matter what the formatting is here because when I plug it into the arcade one up, we'll have to reformat this default partition. So let's just go ahead and hit next. In fact, I could choose do not format even and it shouldn't make a difference. Now that that's finished, I will want to go ahead and format the remaining space. So a new simple volume here. Take the rest of that and I will assign drive letter H is fine. And I will want to choose XFAT and I will call this the AT games. So I know what it is. And then hit finish. Now I will need to source the arcade games that I want to put onto this USB drive. One place to start looking is if you join this fans of sauce Reddit site. There are some detailed instructions on where you can find various different UCE files to install on your uh, USB drive. After sourcing the arcade games and formatting the drive, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and copy those games to this drive. So I have my at games drive opened and I am going to bring over the arcade folder and the content folder and let those copy to the drive here. This takes a little while. It says it's calculating. It says about 20 minutes now. So I'll go ahead and let this finish and I'll come back in about 20 minutes. The files have finished copying over to the USB drive now and I have four folders. I have Daphne folder, Cox folder, content folder, and arcade folder. In the arcade folder, there are 1,726 games in here. Everything from 1942. Uh, there's maze games like Pac-Man. A lot of games in here. If I go back up one level, there's also a Daphne folder, which has some other games such as Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair 1 and 2. Now, having all the games in one folder really isn't useful for me to navigate through. I like to actually organize them into a playlist. So what I've done is I can download a CoinOps arcade playlist that I have uploaded into GitHub. I'll download this arcade playlist.zip file. I'll provide the link in the description below. And I'm just going to save that straight to the folder here on the uh, USB drive. Let's go ahead and unzip that folder. And after downloading and unzipping that file, I am just going to go ahead and double click on it. And what it's going to do is bring a prompt here that is going to go ahead and organize all the games into different folders for playlists. So I'll type in yes here to go ahead and proceed and hit enter. And go ahead and hit spacebar to exit. Now that that is copied over, I can go ahead and delete this bat file as well as the zip file. 
And what we have now is a whole lot more folders, actually 21 folders. And within there are the beat em up games, board games, breakout games, you got maze games like Pac-Man. I will go ahead and show you what those games are when I load them onto the arcade. After creating all the folders and the games, I now need to set up the USB drive for the arcade system. So what I will do is go to the at games website here and I'll put a link in the description below and download this add-on X tool and install it. After installing the add-on X tool, I will go ahead and double click on the icon to run the program, then click choose. And I will choose the at games H drive here and click okay. And then click the build folder. Now this is really important to do as this sets up and it scans the entire USB drive and sets up the index so that the arcade device knows how to load these games. So this is gonna take a while, so I'll go ahead and let this run. Finally, after quite some time, this add-on X tool has finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and X out of there. And then the last thing I will wanna do is go ahead and close the folder here and eject the USB drive. I've unplugged my USB drive and I'm gonna go over to my arcade puck and go ahead and plug it in. Okay, with the device plugged in and I have my Arcade Legends Gamer Bluetooth synced up. So the first thing I will wanna do is go ahead and go over to settings and set up my USB drive. And then choose flash drive X. Just come down here, choose format. And it's going to say, you sure you want to and let's go ahead and click yes. Okay, that has formatted. Let's go ahead and then choose mount. We will go ahead and mount. And that has completed. So let's go ahead and go back. And then if I go to bring your own games, and go to add on X here. I should now see my games and I do. There'll be the arcade games. If I click on that, that will load arcade games here. And then I have beat em ups. For some reason the cover art is not loading. I think because I have to restart the unit. So give me a moment to go ahead and unplug and replug it back in. Okay, give that a moment to boot back up. Now that that has loaded back up, so if I go back over to BYOG and choose add on X, now let's go down to arcade and select that. And we do have cover art, which is good. That was a simple reboot. Glad things like that work that easy. So under arcade, these are games that I was not able to determine what playlist they would belong into. Beat em up games. We have all the different beat em up games. You can actually come over here and see like Streets of Rage is in here. There's 14 beat em up games, so let's see, G. I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles also is in the beat em up games. Robocop, let's come down all the way. Spider House is a great beat em up game. There's Streets of Rage 2. You got Superman, we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, two player game, as well as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles original. I'm going to come back over here. There's a breakout games. Under maze games, you'll find all the Pac-Man games and any other games that are related to that. There's platform games. But what I, most of these are categories, but what I wanted to call out is if I come down here to trackball and twin stick. Now these games are based on the input type. And so although we have sports games up here, or what I did was go ahead and categorize games like Golden Tee in here because it actually runs off the trackball has a, a different type of input. So if you could, let's first, here's the different Golden Tee games. So those are all under the trackball and not the sports. Jurassic Park also is a trackball game. And here is Sega Sonic, which is a trackball game. I'm gonna go ahead and start that one up and let's see how that plays. So 
So the first thing I want to do here is insert some coins, press the home button. I'll insert a few coins. Let's throw two coins in there and let's get started. So hit P1 to start. And this will use the trackball as well as the A and B buttons. Let's see how this plays. So jump and spin and break through these. I gotta break through these quickly. I wonder if this... I'm gonna die here soon if I don't get through these. There it goes, now I'm breaking through. Let's come all the way up here and get through. Okay, I am through that. Oh, let's come up here and run through that. Uh, we have also twin stick games. Now twin stick games are gonna take use of both sticks here. It's a single player game, but I have to use both. So you're gonna have games like uh, Smash TV in here. So let's scroll over to Smash TV. And so I believe one game, one is for this side. Okay, it says info save load rewind functions are not going to work with this game, that's okay. And we'll have this boot up. So I believe this is run and walk, and this one is the direction I'll be shooting. Okay, let's go ahead and hit put some coins in. Bingo! And then we'll click P1 to start. They're shooting, yep. That's shooting and Yeah Bingo Collect all my cash. Let's run up here and collect that. Ah, oh, this game is so much fun. Spray gun over the bomb. Bingo. Collect some cash. Yeah. And let's exit. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you have one of these Legends Arcade controllers? Uh, have you installed custom games on them? What is your experience with them? Um, I personally am really impressed with it. I'm going to get a lot of hours playing on this. I did create this script to organize the files into folders. I found it very useful for me and I wanted to share it with everyone else. So let me know your thoughts. If you like the way that the files are organized, I am, you can go ahead and post in the comments or also post a pull request against that GitHub repo for any changes that you'd like to see. Thanks and if you like this video and the content I'm creating, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video.